You have the power to change how you view the world and therefore change how you live your life. Have you ever looked at somebody and just by looking at them, you make a negative snap judgment or assessment of that person in your head? I think it's fair to say that we've all done that at one time or another. And normally we just dismiss it and we don't think much about it. I mean, it's just a negative thought. It's no harm, right? And you may be right. I mean, having one negative thought or one negative passing snap judgment about someone, it's not gonna create a ton of damage. The question is, what happens when it happens over and over again, all day long, all week long, all year long, for years at a time, we're making these just casual snap judgments, casual negative thoughts about people. Um, what happens over time when all of those build up? Let's think of them like grapes. Each negative thought, each negative um, snap judgment about somebody is like a sour grape. Now, one sour grape, one grape that's gone bad, it's not gonna hurt you. It's just, ooh, that's gross, right? But when you have a bunch of sour grapes, if you were to eat them all, you'd get pretty sick. So what if we were to take those negative thoughts or those sour grapes and turn them into good thoughts or sweet grapes instead? But it's not gonna be easy because we've been trained by our society and the world we live in to think negatively, to think critically. So the problem is every time we see people, every time we see situations, we're always approaching it with a negative viewpoint, with a negative lens, trying to see the bad. And so because of the way we have all been conditioned, because we're trying to see the bad in every situation, and we're trying to see the bad in every individual, guess what we see? The bad. But what if we could train our brain to look for the good instead? Here's what I've started doing, and I challenge you to do the same. Next time you go out in the public, whether it's to a restaurant, whether it's to a grocery store, whether it's to the mall, whether it's to Target, wherever you go, next time you see a lot of people, I want you to make snap good judgments about those people. So what would that look like? As you walk around, everybody you see, I want you to make a positive snap judgment about that person. So something like this, you see someone and you're like, I bet that person is an amazing singer. I bet that person is really nice. I bet that person is really smart. I bet that person is an amazing cook. I bet that person plays soccer really well. See how that goes? We're creating a bunch of sweet grapes. Now you may be thinking, but wait, I have no reason to think these positive things about the person. I don't know uh, if those things are true or not. I don't know if that person's a good singer, if that person's really smart. I have no evidence of that, and that may not be true. That's exactly the point. Because most of the negative thoughts and snap judgments that we make about other people, most of those negative judgments are not true. And most of those negative thoughts and feelings we have towards other people, we don't have evidence to justify any of that either. So instead of filling our mind with negative thoughts that lead to sour grapes, how about we fill our mind with good thoughts that lead to sweet, juicy grapes? And the more you force and train your brain to think good thoughts about other people instead of negative thoughts about other people, you'll find that you're happier. Why? Because instead of viewing the world negatively and viewing other people around you negatively, you're viewing the world and those around you in a positive light. You're viewing the world and those around you in a good way, and it tends to improve your outlook on the world and your feeling about life and about yourself. So that's my challenge to you. Go out, try and force yourself to think of others in a nice, sweet way, and let me know how it goes for you.